Wait, you know, who's this guy? <laughs> right. Yeah. And then what it was is that there was a, a next week there was a Paracon where it was a met, it wasn't a Paracon. It was a metaphysical health and wellness expo, psychic fair, basically in the town he was in. Lived in. So we said, we're going to be there with the table. Why don't you come out? You know, and he didn't come out. He didn't make it. We never heard of him after that. And when we like Jennifer said, we went to look him up. Like his profile is gone. His phone. We tried to call him. The phone was off. It was just like, oh, my God, face of the earth. <laughs> right. and we're like, who is this guy that showed up, wanted to join our society and then tried to see if we were into spying on the government? Yeah, basically is what it came down to. And of course, we declined because that's not what we're no. that's not our focus. <laughs> well, and it's unethical. Yeah. Right. So um, you yeah. can get and a jail for that. So, <laughs> Serious well, jail. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's big trouble. Right. Yeah. So. Um, I don't know who he was. If if he was someone, send him here to see what we were about. That was my thought. Yeah. Is that there's a paranormal society? Let's let's send someone in there and see what they, what they know, what they know, and what they um, that kind of thing. Yeah, he wasn't around for long. I mean, uh, like I said, he he showed up at that meeting and, and he never came to that thing and that was that and bam yeah. it's gone so it's just one of the things like oh you know, just kind of scratch your head and say okay well let's just you know move on now we can sit back and laugh about it yeah. well yeah, yeah probably wasn't so funny then no i mean because that would have freaked me out and i'm going to tell y'all that i spent time interacting with Derek tyler and deborah jane east and mm-hmm. Didn't have a problem with either one of them. I just absolutely, they would create paranoia in me because of their paranoia. And a lot of it, I'm sure, was intended. But when you're, and I'm going to put this out there. And, you know, I've done this for a lot of years, too. And when you have someone who's always talking to a four-star general at the Pentagon, about certain topics of study or research, you're not protecting anyone's anonymity because there aren't that many four-star generals at the Pentagon who are covering different topics. I mean, covering specific topics over specific departments. I mean, you can't, you're you're giving your source out, and well, that that is a good point. I mean, you, know, you, you kind of narrow it down yeah. quite a bit. Not my source at the Pentagon, but always a four-star general. And you, when you're when you're doing research on that level, or you have a source buried that deep, then you can't be that specific. And that's why I started doubting some of the things that I was hearing. And I don't doubt that he knew a lot of information through his research because he's a brilliant researcher. And I don't doubt that he felt threatened because what he knew was very controversial and there was a lot of effort made not to let people know. And, you know, it was the same era that you're talking about, right? So I can see, but I really did. I, I got to where I couldn't talk to them because he wouldn't email me unless I went and got a paid for encrypted email. And he'd only speak to me by email. And then I forgot my password and you can't get it back. So I spent, you know, 26 bucks for nothing. But um, it's just one of those things, you know. I know that your research isn't like that because you're actually verifying and doing analysis on what you find. So I wasn't trying to imply that, but I do know that. That, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, that made me very he's, uncomfortable. He's a ufologist, you know, but yeah. he, yeah, he works in, he, he's doing different kind of work, I guess you'd say, than the kind of work I do. Right. You know, um, but yeah, I mean, he, Derek has got a lot of knowledge. He um, does. When it comes to paranormal history and, and yeah, I, you know, we've had him on the show. Times. Yeah. And you know, it's always enjoyable to talk to him. He's so I, he smart. He's a truther, and, and, and yeah. um, we have his book here. So uh, he did get to the copyright office. Oh, we have his first book. Right. 
Yeah. But yeah. I, I know that he had been concerned that he wasn't going to be able to get there. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he, he got it. that. In fact, he's got two books out now. He's got Good. this part two. And, uh, you know, he... His, you know, he did his his, his uh, um, he did the coast to coast and and right. the Heather Wade and, and all that, and got to promote his book and and you know um, I like Derek. Right. I like yeah. Derek too. I'm glad that he got those books out because, you know, I would be fearful and for him, and, and then I would think, well, this can't be that intense. And but he was absolutely convinced it's that intense. There was that much effort to quelch what he wanted to to share. And well, I know he waited on it for a while. Yeah. I mean, so and for me that was like, well, that, 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 to, to say I, I I need to wait till the time is right so I don't get people in trouble. Yeah. Um, that I met Derek before he, he put the book out. Before you know. Um, I joined, I, when I joined Facebook, he had a group out called Aliens and UFOs, and he would post on that, and I realized that this guy is posting, uh, I could just tell he was, he was, um, what you'd call a master ufologist, and, uh, we became friends, and like I said, you know, I've been on their show, or me and Jennifer have been on their show. Right. Yeah. They've been on our show, and they had a show at the network for a little while. They did, um, and uh, you know, I as as far as a couple, both of them are ufologists. Oh, they're wonderful, yeah. They, well, they both and know. they're great oh. researchers, but you know, it was just so it was just so overwhelming to me the things that they were saying, and I'm like, there's no way, and there was. I mean, and I don't know, Derek never really struck me as being the one that was scared. He was just being cautious. But Deborah, Deborah was scared. And I just could not fathom why you would be so afraid. And then I started doing my own research. And it was like, well, there you go. Yeah, because she was right. literally good. Right, because if you read his first book, uh, Alien Contact and Difficult Truth, right. he's got a lot of heavy stuff in there. And a lot of stuff that people are going to read in that book, if they haven't already, maybe not something that they want to hear. I wasn't. Or, I wasn't ready for not, that. Right. Or they're not ready to hear it because of the way he puts it out there. He's not, I don't think he's putting it out there to put fear into people. I think he's doing this to make people aware of what's going on. Right. And, you know, like I said, I only interviewed him once, I think, but Deborah Jane came to my next network and she got so, she instilled fear and that's because she was afraid. I don't think Derek was ever really terrified. She was terrified. And because she had an experience with someone um, using some odd weapon in her home at her. So that freaked her out. So Right. It's well, just I, a I, weird thing. Yeah. I guess it... it, it uh... It goes with the territory. Yeah. Do you ever feel threatened by your government? Everybody should feel threatened by the government. I would agree with that statement. They are the yeah. They 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 have more power than anyone else. Right. right. Their intentions are not what they're right. put they're, out as. Exactly. So yeah. But yeah. I I think uh, I think. None of us have, none of us know it all. But after, when you research this long enough, what happens is, okay, you get a you get a puzzle piece here and a puzzle piece there and a puzzle piece here, and you start to put it together. And after so many years, even though you don't have all the pieces, you can step back and look at that puzzle that you've been putting together, and you can see what it is. You know what I'm saying? You can see the writing on the wall, so to speak, even though you haven't filled in all the pieces. And I think uh, with Derek, that's definitely um, like 
he, he's been doing this for so long and he, and he's had opportunities to talk to brilliant people and he's experienced, uh, you know, the, I, I don't know at what level the target individual thing comes into play, but, uh, yeah, for some people, it's very hardcore. Yeah. I mean, they really are, are being oppressed. Yeah, he's had his own traumatic experiences growing up Yeah. And over the years. And a lot of it is just, it's it's scary stuff. And it's, and it's really, it's deep. Yeah. Well, it made a believer out of her. Yeah. Hugely. And... You know, it's just really, I don't know, the more I've researched, the more of a believer I've become in it. But at first it was just like, you're kidding me, right? This is just farcical. Because my mind didn't go that way. Well, you're you're like us in that, uh, you know, we know hundreds of paralogians, right? And all these different fields. I think when it comes to strange UFO information, if I need to ask somebody a question, Derek is one of the people that I'll ask because um, I know at least he's heard about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. And for some of the questions I have, that's a start. You know, when I can ask 75% of my peers about something and they haven't even heard of it, you know, then it's like, well, okay, um, that kind of thing, you know. Well, I wonder what he has to say on it. I remember when Black Goo came up. Actually, that's a perfect example. Black Goo came up, and he was the one to tell me more about it than anyone else could. That is so interesting. It's like, oh, so you do know what I'm talking about. Like, yeah, yeah. not only do I know what you're talking about, but there's two different kinds. And he went and he was explaining it. Yeah. And it's like, okay, well. You know, again, I understand. I don't believe everything everybody says. But Derek's always been a good friend. Yeah. And, and he's a, 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 I think he's a, you know, a solid ufologist. Um, certainly making an effort to, um, to promote ufology and the greater goodness. And certainly, um, like you said, like it's, uh, sometimes I'm like, Derek, you should be more positive. You know, good does beat evil in the end <laughs> right. kind of thing because it's doom and gloom and doom and gloom. And they're, you know, um, I but, guess that's uh, what know, bothered that's, me that's is so negative. All, we all have our own character and stuff. Yeah. And, you know, I just... I don't know. I'm better. <laughs> sounds crazy. I'm better with demons and ghosts, right? Because I've experienced that. So that would be something that I stay more in tune with, I guess. And to actually have somebody be that wigged out scared me. You know, because I'm like, oh my God, why do I have to have a major, you know, whatever and I just didn't understand I didn't understand the level of interference I guess maybe that they were getting so right. I have to play this right quick be right back okay. 23 seconds you are listening to WBHM Digital Broadcasting, the best in paranormal talk only on Paranormal Experience Radio. Broadcasting live, live, live out of Birmingham, Alabama. And so that being said, you know, you are listening to that. After show of Paranormal Experience Radio with Kevin and Jennifer Malik. And, you know, I appreciate this. I'm going to have to go or my husband who is dog sitting is going to have a hissy. And I don't blame him. He gets up at four in the morning. But, you know, I have had the best time with you guys. So did we. Thank you for having us on. This was an absolute blast. But, you know, you're so going to have it. to come back so that we can do Antarctica and do forbidden archaeology and do folklore and myths and do and theology big, and mythology. And Bigfoot and Dogman. And big, and we didn't even touch on any of those. And I know somebody who I'm sure is listening to y'all just for the Dogman. Do you have time for Dogman real quick? Yes. Just like give me 10 minutes. Yes, yes, yes. We won't tell him that we're still staying up. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, I have 
two friends, both in Wisconsin. One found what looked like a Bigfoot 